Yo, yo, what it is, everybody. Thanks for tuning back in here to another episode here on the Speedbug channel. Well, y'all been asking for it. Y'all wanted to know another update on my F450. Well, let me tell you, okay? I hate this thing. Absolutely hate it. It's a piece of shit. Nah, I'm just kidding. I actually freaking love it. I can't lie. I love this thing. As you guys know, I'm a diehard GM guy. You know, all my cars have pretty much been GM. Hell, look, you can even see my GM signs and stuff inside of my <laughs> inside my garage. But man, I'm telling you, I absolutely love my F450. Now, one thing that you guys I know are asking, when you Rob, when are you gonna start my when are you gonna put wheels and tires and this and that and everything on it? Well, let me tell you, the answer is I'm not. And the reason why every single one of my cars is modded. They're all cammed, heads, this, that, you know, boost. It doesn't matter under the sun. I've done everything that I want to do to my F450. And I apologize for the wind. It's a little windy, guys, out here today. I am not going to change the wheels and tires at least anytime soon. Uh, why? People ask why. Well, the factory wheels, um, I don't think they're pretty bad looking at all. I like the polished look. I'm not a black rim guy. Uh, I think black rims just make your shit just look dirty. You want black rims? Don't wash your wheels. I personally like the polished aluminum or the chrome. I think that looks good. It makes it look more like a street car. Now, too much damn chrome is too much for me. But I think the truck has just the right amount of chrome on it currently at the moment. Another reason, some people say this is a, a con, but I think it's a pro. Well, you got to remember, an F450 is meant for towing and driving on the highway. So, sure, these tires are a little hard. However... With them being a little hard, they also last a very, very, very long time. There's no question that you can get 50, 70, 80,000 miles out of these tires because they're more commercial grade tires. So that uh, definitely is a plus for me as I'm driving. And of course, when I tow my trailer with my uh, Corvette inside of it. Uh, as far as the rest of the truck, you know me, I black out everything as far as the windows. And that's pretty much about it. There's really nothing else for me to do. Maybe a few other bits on the inside and stuff that I may want to touch up and stuff like that. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, you guys have seen the inside before. Um, you know, I, I just think it's it's great, you know, for, for a truck. It has every single thing that I, that I need. Um, I currently have... 2,000 miles on it and it has been problem free not that I'm expecting uh, any issues or anything with them yet uh, but hell you never know it's a machine nothing is perfect um, I'm not necessarily saying that the Ford is better than the Chevy and the Dodge is better than the Ford or this that whatever it really doesn't matter they're all machines and eventually they're going to break sooner than later uh, so uh, I, 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 as I said before, I test drove all three, and to me, the Ford uh, suited it best, and it definitely won with the turning radius. Uh, you also ask why will I not be modding this vehicle? Well, there's no reason to. The warranty that I got on this thing was absolutely great. So why destroy my warranty on my daily vehicle when one thing is not modded? And I stepped inside here of the garage because it is pretty windy out here today. Um, there's no reason for it. I got, uh, I can't remember if it's five or six year, 100,000 powertrain warranty. Why give any of that up when this is my daily vehicle? I'm not trying to make this fast. Why put exhaust and a tune and this, that, whatever, to try and move 9,000 pounds when I have a couple other fast toys? This doesn't make any sense to me. This is a daily, this is my tow vehicle, and I don't want any problems with it. And then when it does break, if ever, when it does, you take that shit right back to the dealer and they fix it for you. They give you a loaner or this, that, whatever, and they send your happy ass on your merry way. There's no reason for me to, to, to try and do any of that other stuff. It, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Now, maybe when the warranty's up and, and stuff like that, you know, will I delete it and all that other stuff? Okay, we could talk about that then. But right now, if the def system ever messed up or anything like that, I, I just don't see it because it wouldn't matter how bad it gets messed up it wouldn't really be under me it'd be under the dealer so it would be taken care of like that but over that uh it is perfectly problem free i love it the eight foot bed is great the turning radius is great a lot of people thought that it would ride really rough i did myself until i put something in the bed or a trailer behind it 
It really does not, and it really rides great. So for the people that are wondering, should I get an F-350 or an F-450? The answer is I would choose the F-450 any day of the week. The only downside to the F-450 that I see over the 350 is that obviously it's, it's the rear end. Um, but it's not, a, it's not a really a downside. It's just a pro and a con. So with the 450, with the 450 you get a, uh, I believe it's a 430 gear. Uh, so it kind of sucks when you're, you know, you're on the highway because it keeps the RPMs up. Where on the 350, you get a lower gear. Uh, I think it's like a 373 or 390 or something like that. I can't remember the exact numbers, but it really, whatever, it doesn't matter. I know the uh, uh, the 450 gives you a higher ratio so that, obviously, for towing. Uh, no big deal. Uh, with all the new ones, you get the 10-speed, so it's not that bad. Again, you're not trying to do 150 miles an hour in a truck, so that's pretty much about it. So you're maybe sacrificing a few miles per gallon there, but that is about it. But everything else that comes with the turning radius, in my opinion, 150% makes up the difference for the F450. So uh, it's definitely worth it. And, of course, you get a few other things. You get bigger brakes and stuff like that, but I'm not going to go into every other difference and stuff like that. But the F450 is way much of a better upgrade over the 350 just sucks that you also have to really wait to get them where the f-350s are readily available where these are a little bit more of a special order uh special order if you're wondering it took me about four months to get mine i ordered mine uh it was august maybe early late you know early september uh, at best and i got it right around new year's so we're february in a few months in and it's been probably free and, and i absolutely love it um, sure, yeah, maybe my Denali outside was a little bit prettier, but yeah, sure, this is more rugged, more beefy, and stuff like that. that. That shit doesn't really matter. It's all about the purpose duty of a truck, and that's what I wanted was a truck, and this crossed all the T's and dotted the I's for me. So it's, uh, it was fantastic. It was great, and I highly recommend a truck, and I haven't had any problems. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments that you maybe want to know about it, uh, let me know. I'll try to answer it in the comments below, but, uh, my 2021 Platinum F450 has been great. So thank you very much for tuning in and we will catch you for some more episodes here on the Speedbug channel.